Everyone has a name card? Yes. So, for those of you, for those of you who plan to come back in the future, please always bring your name cards. If this is your first time, make a name card and then bring it back next time. So, how many of you are here for the first time? First time. Okay, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to meet you. And for everybody else, I see familiar faces. It's nice to see you again. Hello, how are you? So, last week's lesson, we talked about articles. Such as, uh, an, okay. the, and nothing. Do you remember this lesson? Yes. Yes, okay. And in this lesson, I gave you some optional homework to do. Optional homework. Which means it was your choice to do it or not. And I told you if you wanted to check, we could check. If not, that's okay. So how many of you did the optional homework? Nobody. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> then we'll continue with today's lesson. <laughs> then we'll just go. Go on ahead. Okay, well, today's lesson is actually related to the offline class I had last Thursday. Uh, sorry, not offline. The online class. This is an offline class. Uh, were any of you in the online class Thursday? No. Okay, so in the online class Thursday... The video class, we talked a little about formal versus casual, casual language. We talked a little bit about this, this situation, formal versus casual language. And so I wanted to continue this subject today. So I have some information that I'll give you and I want you to practice. Casual versus formal. Okay, so the difference, of course, is situations. Right? So depending on the situation, you're going to use formal or casual language. Okay. So as I'm getting older, I know I'm getting older because... I'm saying the same things my parents said. For example, oh, young people these days. Oh, they're so rude. They have no manners. For example, so uh, when I'm talking about formal and casual, I'm talking about uh, the situations where your language change, how you talk, how you address people. Okay? So this is not just, of course, in Korea. This is just uh, in general. Okay? So what I'd like to talk about first is the difference between English and Korean. Okay. By the way, you don't have to write this. I have this information to give you. Okay. So, English and Korean, Korean and English, of course, the languages are very different. Okay. But there's also some similarities, I think, some similarities. First, Korean. What makes Korean such a difficult language for me, for example, is there is the high form, right? There is the low form, and let's say the middle form. Okay, high form, uh, middle form, low form. So this is like uh, the chundemal, hanmal, and um, <laughs> chunganmal. I, 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 what is there a name? What wesanmal? Yesanmal? I'm not sure either, okay. But, okay, so chandemal, panmal, and yesanmal, maybe. So you might have, for example, this kind of speech. Right? Shipshio, right? <laughs> and then you have something like this. Imnika, and then you have something like this. Imnida. Ah, so that would be the middle form. Yo. Okay, and then the low form would be like what? Bra. <coughs> okay, thank you. Bra. Okay, so you have these different kinds of forms, and you use these forms according to the situation, who you're talking to, right? Okay, so English is not the same. 
For example, in Korea, if you use the wrong one, you can get into a serious situation, maybe even a fighting situation, right? You're talking to an older person, but you use this. <gasps> you said ra to me, right? How dare you? Ugh. Okay, but in English, it's not that same. It's not the same. People will not get that angry. But there's something a little similar, a little similar. If you want to use the high form of very polite speech, you can use what? You can use a question. Okay. So, for example, would you... Okay, may I, can you, could you, okay, so use a question. Middle form, please, and the low form, okay, using no please. Okay, so again, it's not as serious as the Korean side, but it's a little similar, a little similar. So, for example, how do you say this in Korean using the high form? Anjishipshio, middle form. Anjuseyo, low form. Anjara, okay. How about in English? Okay, and you can add this if you'd like to, that's okay. So. Uh, would you sit? Would you like to sit? Uh, can you sit? Can you please sit? Could you sit? Could you please sit? Okay, is fine. The middle form in English? Please sit. That's it. Please sit. Please sit down. Low form? Sit. Sit. No, you sit. Uh, please sit. Okay, thank you. Okay, so something very simple as this, okay. sometimes not used. Okay, so. I have a situation. Let's see. Mm, excuse me. Versus, hey. Okay, so something like this also. This is on the paper I'll give you as well. Okay. So things like this you already know about. But sometimes, and I know a lot of people also know about this, but sometimes when we speak a foreign language, we forget the basics. Okay, so true story. I went to another country. I went to Spain many years ago with students. Students. They were businessmen students. They were English studying students, my students, and Japanese language students, another teacher's students. Okay, so we went on this business trip together to Spain. I went to a restaurant. In the restaurant, one of the students, okay, one of the businessmen, was not my student, he was the Japanese language student. In the restaurant, he said this. What does it say? Now well, let's make a period. So he said, hey, give me water. I've heard this kind of expression with young people, for example, in Korea many times, especially these days. Okay. Hey, give me water. So he did this in a restaurant. Hey, give me water. This is in Spain. So at the restaurant, okay, I was sitting next to him, so I looked at the waiter's face, the worker, and he was like this. <laughs> Okay. Not happy. Not happy. How do you say this in Korean? Yeah. Okay. Mulgaka or muljo. Right? So it's not as strong, but it's a little similar. Hey, give me water. Yeah, muljo. Okay. So instead of this, what? Excuse me. Could you? Can you? Is okay. Uh, or just please, right? That's it, very simple. Excuse me, uh, give me water please. Can you give me water please? Could you give me water please? Or just this is okay. Excuse me, water please. Oh, here you are. Okay, so very simple but very necessary, especially in a restaurant service kind of situation. Yeah, we'll show. Hey, give me water. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you have to be careful. Uh, another situation, true situation. Uh, I went to a restaurant maybe a few months ago with my wife, my wife and my family, my children. I went to this restaurant. It was a Korean restaurant, and uh, the workers were all young, really young people, all the workers there. So we went to the restaurant, we went inside, and one of the young workers said, 
uh, hey, come. So we followed and then sit. Okay, and then later we finished eating and then the bill came. He said, sign. Okay, so everything is okay. But really, in Korean it's like, ya, iriwa, anjo, sign hara. Right? So not as strong, but uh, similar, a little bit similar in the, in the feeling. So instead of that, very simply, excuse me, please come, please sit, please sign. That's it. Okay, so, of course, I wasn't angry because I knew the situation, but in other situations, people can very easily become angry. Hey, hey what? Sit. No, you sit. Come. No, you come. Right? So, very simple. Please, please come. Please sit. Please sign. Okay? Any questions about this information? No. Okay, so all of this, as I mentioned, is on this paper. You can just review. One, two, three. Here you are. Jimmy, can you please open the window? Thank you. <laughs> A little warm in here. Two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here you are. Three, three, five, seven, nine. Can we get an extra two copies? Sure. Extra two copies. Yes. Oh, is that an extra two? <coughs> extra one. Okay, here you are. And then two, four, six, seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here you are. Okay, so the information that I wrote on the board is on the paper. Okay. This is called basic English phrases and sentences. You can see here because there are some very common expressions we can use. For example, you can see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. These are very common, very basic, but also very important to use in situations, different kinds of situations. So uh, let's try one by one. Can you please read loudly from A until B? Just read one by one. Jimmy, you are A. Jacqueline, B. Sunny, uh, C. Martina, D. Etc. Jimmy, please. A. Please. Next, please. Jacqueline. Excuse me. Excuse me has different meanings. For example, hey. Hey, or? What? What? Or? I'm sorry, please move. I'm sorry, please move. Right, so, hey, 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 excuse me, excuse me, right? Or if you don't hear something, what, mo, mo, what? Excuse me, it sounds more polite. Excuse me, Reggie, da, 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 what? Versus Reggie, da, 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 uh, excuse me, more polite, okay? So what is okay with friends or family? When you're talking to a stranger, if you want to speak politely. So, Mr. Kim, da, 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 da. what, mo? Excuse me, pardon me? Uh, and I'm sorry, please move. So if you're walking, or if you want to walk somewhere, but someone is standing, excuse me, please move. Same thing. Oh, okay. So please move, just say excuse me, excuse me. Okay. After you, uh, sorry, it's the next one. Let's see, Martina, it's your turn. After you. Uh-huh, next please. Uh, James Paul. Uh, here you are. Mm -hmm. Next please. F, A, and B. And? You're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Okay, so A and B, when you hear thank you, very polite to answer. You're welcome. And when you answer, not welcome, it's you're welcome. So I also see and hear this these days. Thank you, welcome. No, it's you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome. No. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No problem. Don't mention it. My pleasure. But it's you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, next please. I have, a question. I have a question is okay, so you don't have to make a long sentence. Uh, do you mind if I ask you something? Or I have something to ask you, is that okay? Just, I have a question, it's fine. I have a question. Okay. Let me ask you a question, sure. There are many ways to say this, but if you just want a simple sentence, I have a question, it's fine. I have a question. Okay. Or in maybe a classroom situation, <coughs> just question is okay. Classroom, question, yes, is okay also. Okay. And the last one, H, that's personal. Okay, so don't ask me that. It's a secret, top secret, my secret. No, just that's personal, that's personal. 
What's your name? Oh, my name is Reggie. Where do you live? I live in Seoul. Uh, how much money do you make? What is your income? Uh, that's personal, right? Sometimes maybe a stranger may ask you, what's your phone number? Oh, that's personal. That's personal. Okay. So very common expressions we can use. Uh, after you, after you. After you versus you first, please. In Korean, I think the, the meanings are the same. But in English, a little different. What is the difference between after you and you first, please? What is the difference? Okay, if, for example, there are, there are elevator doors in front of you, the doors open, you want to go in, but you see another person, what would you say? This one or that one? The elevator's open, elevator doors open. Before you go in, you see another person. Oh, after you, after you, correct. So if you hear after you, you say, thank you. After you, thank you. Okay. So you first, please, is when you generally don't want to do something. I don't want to go first. You first, please. 제발, 먼저 하세요. Okay, so you first, please, is when you yield, right? 양보. After you, thank you. You're welcome. Elevator, door, inside, outside, subway, bus, any place. After you, thank you, you're welcome. Okay? And then at the bottom, there are some basic expressions you can practice later. Okay. Any questions about this information? No. Okay, then, first, I have this sheet I'd like you to practice. There are situations written here, and with a partner, I'd like you to work together and use polite speech. So, for example, number two says, you want to smoke. Okay, so, what can you say to your partner? You can also use this expression. Uh, do you mind? Right? So, again, question. So, we're using polite speech. That means you're not going to use this one. Right? So, what can you say? You want to smoke. What can you say to your partner? Can I smoke is okay. Something simple, yes. Excuse me. Can I smoke? Sure, yes. Excuse me. Do you mind if I smoke? Uh, please don't smoke. Okay. So, work together. These are different kinds of situations. Use polite speech. Think about different kinds of answers you can use. One, two, three. Okay. Do you mind if I smoke? Is it okay if I smoke? Can I smoke? Can I please smoke? Okay, so there are one until ten situations. There is no absolutely correct answer. So talk with your partner, please work together. And decide what kind of expressions you can use. Okay. And because you have a partner, it's a dialogue, you're welcome. So in some situations you can say, thank you, you're welcome, for example, right? Here you are. Here you are. One, two. One, two, I think. And one. Okay. Okay, so that was number two. Can you please read loudly the situation? Situation number one. Who was the last person to read? Who was the last person? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Oh, please. Can you please read number one? Line number one. It's very hot. Can you read? It's very hot and all, all the windows are closed. Okay, so it's very hot. Really, it's very hot. And all the windows are closed. So what can you say to your partner? Okay, you can use this information, right? Uh, next, please, Ginny. How about number three? Three? Three, yes, please. You want to know the time. You want to know the time. Okay. You want to know the time. What time is it? Okay. Or... Could you tell me the time? There are many expressions. What time is it? Please is okay. What time is it? Please. Can you tell me the time? Could you tell me the time? Many kinds of expressions you can use. Yes, it is 4 o'clock. Thank you. You're welcome, for example. Okay. Number 4, how about uh, Ina? 
you want to borrow your coworker's cell phone. Okay, so talk with your partner. And partner, you can answer. No, I'm sorry. Right? Mm, cell phone? No. Okay, and also when you answer, no. Sounds a little strong. So you can say, no, I'm sorry. Right? Or you can switch. I'm sorry, no. Okay. Everybody, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no. Okay. So to be more polite, no. I'm sorry, no. Okay. Number five. Can you please read number five, Calvin? In a restaurant, you want to direct your borrow. Oh, number five. There's a spelling mistake. In a restaurant, you want. <laughs> There's no no two or no T, so you can just draw an X through that. You want a glass of water. That's it. In a restaurant, you want a glass of water. Hey, water! Probably not a good idea. <laughs> hey, water! Yeah, bull! Uh, so politely, what can you say? Number six, uh, Sunny, please. Ask someone, to, to call you Ask someone to call you tomorrow morning. So this one, maybe you can imagine you are in a hotel and you want a morning call, a wake-up call. Okay. So what can you say? Number seven, uh, oh, Sunny won. Sorry, Grace. Okay, you want to look. Uh, you want to read a coworker's newspaper. Okay, so there's some vocabulary that you can use. It's not necessary, but it's possible. Uh, can I read your newspaper? Can I look at? Is okay also. Okay, so number five, you can see in the parentheses have. Okay, water please. Uh, can I have water please? So it's your choice. You can use that. Not necessary, but that's like a hint. Number eight, how about Stephen, please? You want a cup of coffee at your coworker. You want a cup of coffee, ask your coworker. Okay, so maybe you can use bring, for example. Uh, coffee, please. Can you bring me, could you bring me coffee, please? Oh, I'm sorry, no, I'm very busy. Okay. If the answer is no, what can you say? Da da da, oh, I'm sorry, no. What can you say? Oops. That's okay. That's okay. Can you open the window, please? Um, no, I'm sorry, I can't. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. So, coffee number nine. How about uh, Nare? Nare? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, please. You're very cold, and all the windows are all. Okay, you're very cold and all the windows are open. So ask your partner to what? Please close the windows. Close the windows, please. Can you please? Can you? Do you mind? Could you? Number 10, how about uh, Hyunju, please? You want someone to help you. You want someone to help you. Hey, help. Hey, no. Right? So what can you ask? How can you say it nicely, politely? You want maybe a stranger to help you. So politely, politely ask. So with a partner, please try these together. It's a dialogue, so one person can say something, partner respond. Okay. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, okay, how about 1, 2, ladies 1, 2, uh, gentlemen, okay, 1, 2, we'll try it just very simply, 1, 2, uh, ladies 1, 2, how about um, Ginny 1, 2, Yes, okay. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, please begin. Please begin. Work together. If you have any questions, please ask me. Please ask me. Reggie, yes. One more. Two more. One more. Two more. Sure. No problem. You're welcome. Okay, sure. Your answer? Thank you. Thank you, you're welcome. Could you please open the door? Answer? Yes, sure, no problem. And then answer, thanks. You're welcome, okay.
Could I please smoke? Do you mind if I smoke? Can I smoke? Sure. Answer. What is your feeling about smoking? I'm sorry. I don't like smoking. Okay, that's okay. No. No. What number is this? Number two. Can I smoke? Do you mind if I smoke? No. So to make it a little more soft, softer, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no. And your answer? So uh, that's okay. Please, yes. Can I borrow your cell phone? Can I borrow your cell phone? Yes or no? What is your feeling? Yes or no? Yes. Your answer? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Would you tell me what time it is? Okay. More naturally, could you tell me what time it is? Can you tell me what time it is? Answer? Yes. Yes? 4.05. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Martina, did you send me an email? Yes. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Please, yes. What number, please? Number three. And okay, could you tell me what time it is? It's four five. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Can I use your cell phone? Answer. Can I use your cell phone? Your answer. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. What number, please? Number six. Could you? Could you call me tomorrow morning? Could you wake me up tomorrow morning? Okay. What time? Sure. What time? What time? At at seven? Okay. Sure. No problem. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, no way. Sounds like no. Uh, no way. Um, if it's someone you don't know well, yes. Excuse me. It's yes. Yeah, it's a little strong. Can you open the window, please? No way. Strong. So, uh, generally, can you? Mm? Ah, no, I'm sorry. No thanks. Can you open the window for me? No thanks. No, because thank you is because you did something for me. I'm saying thank you, but I'm asking you, can you do something for me? So, no thanks. People can say that jokingly, but no. Okay, excuse me, let's try together. Please turn over your papers. Turn over your papers. Let's try together. Okay, so some expressions to keep in mind. Excuse me, 
right? Versus, hey. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What else? Thank you. Thank you. Sure. You're welcome. You're welcome. What else? Yes? Sure. Yes. Why not? <laughs> okay. What else? Da 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 da. No, I'm sorry. Oh, we have it here. Um, that's okay. Can you help me? No, I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. You can also say thanks anyway. Reggie, yes? Oh, Reggie, yeah. Let's start in the brackets. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what is that? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. What is this? It's hey. My writing, I can't read it even. Okay, so it's versus hey. Yeah. So it's more polite to say excuse me. So thanks anyway, for example. Excuse me, uh, do you know where the post office is? No, I don't. No, I'm sorry. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. Thanks anyway, why? Thanks for trying to help me. Thanks for answering me, right? Because in some situations, excuse me, where is a, excuse me, where, where? Okay, but if they try, excuse me, where is the department store? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, thanks anyway. Thank you for trying to help me. Thanks anyway, thanks anyway, okay? So, turn over your papers, please. Turn over your papers. Okay, how about, uh, you want a cup of coffee? You want your coworker to, give you or bring you a cup of coffee, what can you say? Okay, would you bring me a cup of coffee? Could you bring me a cup of coffee? Okay. So if I say, could you bring me a cup of coffee? What is your answer? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, and then when you have the cup of coffee, what? This is on your basic phrases. Here you are, here you are, right. here you are. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. How about uh, you want to know the time? Okay. Could you tell me what time it is? Can you tell me what time it is? Can you tell me the time? Okay. Would you tell me the time, please? Or just what time is it, please? Okay. So if I say to you, what time is it, please? Excuse me. What time is it, please? Your answer? I'm sorry. <laughs> no watch? Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. Thanks anyway. Okay, yes. If you know the time, uh, what time is it, please? Answer. What time is it, please? Four? Four twelve. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. So remember, it's a dialogue, A and B, A and B. Thank you, you're welcome. Thanks, sure. Thank you, no problem. Okay, how about one more? Um, we did it already. Number five, you're in a restaurant, you want a glass of water. You want a glass of water in a restaurant. Excuse me. Okay, can I have a glass of water? Can I have a glass of water? Can you bring me a glass of water? Or, short answer, very short, excuse me. Give me. Bonjour. Give me water, please, or very, very short. Water, please. Excuse me, fork, please. Excuse me, menu, please. Excuse me, spoon, please. Okay, here you are. You're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Okay. Any questions about the situations? No, okay, well, there's more. We're not finished. We have lots of time. Okay, then what I'd like you to do, again, this is very basic, very simple information, but so many people forget. So many people forget. Thank you, you're welcome. Please. So what I'd like to try to give you is this information. These are travel questions. Okay, so on this paper, there are actually two sheets. There are many kinds of situations. One more, yes. I didn't forget, don't worry. Okay, here you are. There are different kinds of situations. For example, the first situation you can see is at a restaurant. At a restaurant. Okay. At the bottom, at a hotel. 
Okay, you are. You're welcome. You are. Okay, at a restaurant, at a hotel. And then on the back page, look at the back page, please. Here you are. Shopping. On a tour, taking a tour. <coughs> Police. Uh, places. These are different kinds of situations. You're going to practice using polite speech. There's more. Second sheet, page number two. On this sheet, the first situation is an airport or airplane. Airport, airplane. There you are. Hello. You're welcome. So this is uh, also very important to keep in mind to remember in service situations uh, at an airport or airplane. At uh, an airport, for example, the person who is responsible for ticketing, okay, they have information, for example. They can give you a great seat or not. They can give you different kinds of services or not. It's their decision. Okay? So sometimes if people ask, they can just say, oh, I'm sorry, no. Or if you're very polite, they can say, oh, by the way, there's this or there's this kind of special situation and give this to you. So actually, my wife and I, we've had situations at the airport where before we meet the ticketing person, we say, remember, let's be very polite, very nice. So we're very polite to the people. And in some situations, We've gotten very good, very good treatment, very, very good situations where uh, the person, for example, will upgrade our seats. Uh, can you do this? No, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, that's okay, no problem. Oh, but I have this. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Oh, and I have this. Oh, thank you, you're so kind. Thank oh, and I have this, right? So using polite speech because making the other person feel good can influence if they want to help you more or not, right? Many kinds of situations. Uh, shopping, taking a tour at a restaurant, second page, airport, airplane, uh, bank or money exchange, and the last one is other, just general questions. This one and the back page, okay? general scenarios. So, are you Sean? You're YK. Okay. Do you have this? Do you have the second page also? Oh, you need one. Okay, so for example, at a restaurant, the first situation. Uh, can I have a table for three? Can I have a table for four? Can I have a table for five? Can I have a table for one? That's how many people, right? So you can imagine this can be a situation on the phone or you can, you can be talking to someone directly. Okay. So, excuse me, can I have a table for two? Okay. Sure, yes. What else can you say in a restaurant? Maybe smoking or non-smoking? These days, I think it's all non-smoking, right? But, some places smoking or non-smoking, or would you like, let's see, maybe, what, would you like a table or a booth, right? Table, you have chairs, a booth, you have long kind of benches like sofas, right? Okay. Please, follow me. Thank you, you're welcome, okay? At a hotel. At the bottom, can I have my room key, please? Uh, can I have my key, please, room one, two, three? Sure, here you are. Thank you, you're welcome. Right. Back page, <coughs> shopping. I'm just looking, that's a good phrase to remember. Everybody, I'm just, lo uh, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Okay, so, 그냥 구경해요, right? So you're walking in a department store maybe, and suddenly someone is following you. <laughs> I'm just looking. Oh, sure, okay. No problem. If you have any questions, please ask me. If you need my help, please ask me. Okay. So think of a dialogue situation. Okay. I'm just looking. Okay, no problem. Sure, help yourself. Uh, tour. Can I take pictures? Okay. If you take a tour in some places, pictures are not allowed. For example, what kind of places can you not take pictures? Museum, right? Some museums, it's okay. Some museums, not okay. So, can I take pictures? Answer. 
I'm sorry, no. Okay. No! Versus, I'm sorry, no. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. Right? Can I take pictures? Yes, sure. No problem. Police, excuse me, I'm lost. Can you help me? Answer? Yes! That's it? Yes, what? Imagine, what would the police say? Yes, sure. Follow me? Okay, maybe if it's in the police station. Or what's your name? What's your name? Right, some basic information. So try to continue a little conversation. I'm lost. Excuse me, I'm lost. Can you help me? Sure, yes. What is your name? Or where do you want to go? Right? Excuse me, I'm lost. Can you help me? No. I'm sorry, no. Police? Uh, I'm busy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Maybe, maybe. Thanks anyway. Places, uh, what is a great place to see? So imagine a tourist is saying this to you. A tourist on the street, maybe? Excuse me, what is a great place to see? What is your answer? Yes. Well, if you are new to the area also, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. So a tourist says to you, and you're also a tourist, excuse me, what is a great place to see? I, I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, thanks anyway. Or a real answer in Seoul, what is a great place to see? Nobody knows. Um, Namsan, Seoul Tower, Yeongdong, Insadong, Hongdae, what else? Yes? Gyeongbokgung, downtown, right? Changdokgung, these palaces, Cheonggye Stream, Cheonggye Chon, Wang Shimni. <laughs> if you're an older person, maybe older, older. Because the Wang Shimni station has the CGV, E Mart. <laughs> yes, okay, so what can you recommend? What is a great place to see? So you can answer, ah, oh, and then thank you, you're welcome. Or, I'm sorry, I don't know. Thanks anyway. Okay. Next page, this is page number two. Airport, airplane. I'd like a ticket to Pusan, please. What's the next line? I'd like a ticket to Pusan, please. That means you are the customer and your partner is the employee, the worker, the ticketing person. So I'd like a ticket to Pusan, please. Okay, what time? What time would you like to go? What time do you want to go? Sure. Sure, what's your name? Can I have your name, please? Right. If it's an international flight, yes, what? Passport. Okay, passport, please. Passport, please. Okay. Airport, airplane. Bank, money exchange. So if you're at the bank, excuse me, I need to change some money. So your partner is the bank worker. What can your partner say? Sure, how much? Okay, sure, how much do you need? Uh, what is your account number? If it's your bank, sure, what is your account number? In many kinds of situations. Okay. And then when you finish, thank you, you're welcome. Other at the bottom. Excuse me, how can I get to... Mm, so maybe, let's see, what is near here? Uh, Seoul Dream Forest is near here, right? Seoul Dream Forest. Seoul, I don't know the Korean name. Do you know the Korean name? Seoul Dream Forest. Puk Seoul... Gume soup. Okay, so Seoul Dream Forest. It's very near here. So if someone says, uh, excuse me, how can I get to Seoul Dream Forest? Okay, well, how can you answer? I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Or, oh, yes, just take a taxi. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Or just go out the front gate, turn left, and go straight. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so there are many kinds of situations. Please try this with your partner. Let's try different partners. Let's try, how about uh, five minutes later, 10 minutes later? Five, 10, 15? 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 10 minutes? Okay, 10 minutes later then. Let's take a break, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Please come back after 10 minutes. Thank you, good job. 10 minutes, please. Okay, let's continue, please. Let's continue. 
Do you have any questions? Questions, questions. Attention students. Attention students. Yobusho. Yobuso. <laughs> Sorry. Let's continue. So what I'd like you to do is first I'd like to have you become familiar with each of these situations. And then instead of only sitting, I'd like to have everyone stand and meet other people. Okay. So when you meet other people, you're not going to read together. You're just going to speak. The other person has to listen and answer. You'll have a dialogue. Because in real situations outside, if someone says to you, excuse me, what time is it? Ah, okay, what time is it? It is five. You can't read, right? Or, excuse me, can you open the window? Uh, can you wait? Ah, okay, yes. You don't have that situation. You can just listen and speak, right? So in those situations. So we're going to do that in this class. So what I'd like you to do is first practice this, and then you're going to stand up and talk to people using these different kinds of situations. So it may be the airport, maybe a restaurant, maybe a bank. You have to listen carefully. So if you don't hear, excuse me, or excuse me, is okay, right? Da 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 da. What? Mo? No. Da 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 da. Excuse me? Da 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 da. Oh yes, sure, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, like that. So first, let's see. How about um, number one? The air restaurant is a little long, so uh, let's just look together. At the restaurant, can I have a table for mm? Right. Number two, can I have a menu? Can I see a menu, please? Right. Waiter. I'd like to see a menu, so you can say waiter or not say waiter. Just excuse me, I'd like to see the menu, please. Uh, do you have a menu in Korean? Do you have a menu in English? Uh, I don't know anything about American food, Korean food, Chinese food, Japanese food. Uh, what do you recommend? Right? Oh, I recommend, mm. so you have to listen carefully. If someone says to you, your partner, for example, I don't know anything about Japanese food, what do you recommend? Answer, oh, I recommend sushi, sashimi, for example. Right? Can I have some water, please? Could you pass me the salt? Can you pass me the sugar? Can you pass me the ketchup? Okay. How do I eat this? How can I eat this? Okay. So how can I eat this? It could be what? Maybe uh, what kind of food? How can I eat this? In other words, please show me. Uh, maybe it's um, lobster. Okay, lobster. How can I eat this? Okay, so you can show. Oh, first do this, this, or use your imagination. How can I eat this? Oh, first put the food here and then put this here, and then make a ball, and then eat it, for example. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> sorry, I don't know. Uh, what else? Could I order Korean food in this restaurant? Can I order mm food in this restaurant? What is the specialty in this place? What is the special food? What is this uh, restaurant famous for? Okay. What else? Uh, what is a food that really tastes great? What can, rec what can you recommend? What is your special of the day? So. Restaurants who usually have a special menu, a special food for that day. So today's Saturday. What is your special for today? Oh, today's Saturday. We have um, what? Kalbi. And then tomorrow, what's your special today? Oh, we have uh, Pulgogi Chongshik, for example. Okay. So what's your special for the day? Use your imagination. Uh, what can you serve quickly? I have no time. What can you serve quickly? What's an answer? What can you serve quickly? Salad. <laughs> salad, yes. Noodles, sure. Okay. Uh, one salad, please. Okay. Uh, noodles, please. Okay. Uh, what's your special today? Are you ready to order? No, not yet. So, are you ready to order? That is the worker telling you, asking you. Are you ready to order? Uh, no. One more minute, please. Okay. Or, we need a little more time, please. Okay. Can we have the check, please? The check means the bill. Right? Check, please. Can I have the bill, please? I'd like to reserve a table for two for Saturday night at 7 p.m. You can change the, uh, the answers. Uh, could I have a table by the window? Could, I, could we have a table by the window? Window seat. What time does the restaurant open, close? I'd like another mm, please. For example, I'd like another fork, please. I'd like another spoon, please. Sure, here you are. Next, what time does breakfast begin? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, or brunch, right? I'd like a table for two in the non-smoking section, please. Sure, please follow me. Uh, what kind of drinks do you have? How can you answer that? What kind of drinks do you Excuse me, what, how, what kind of drinks do you have? Answer. Beer. We have beer. Coke. We have Coke. Red wine. 
We have wine. So we have uh, soft drinks. We have alcohol also. Okay. We have juice. What kind of drinks do you have? I'm sorry, only water, for example. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Okay, thanks anyway. Uh, what kind of dish is this? What kind of food is this? Oh, this is a special food from Jinju, Chunju, Chunju Bibabap. This is a special food from Jinju, Chunju, right? You mix the food like this and then you eat it, okay, for example. Uh, at a hotel, can I have my room, uh, can I have my key please, room number 123? Sure, here you are. What's my room number? What's my room number please? Okay, what is your name? My name is Mr. Smith. Okay, your room number is the room. Uh, can I check in now? Okay. I'd like to make a reservation for next week. What are your rates? That means how much do you charge for one day, one night? Okay. What are your rates? Does that include any meals? Can I get food with that price? Can I get breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Does that include breakfast, lunch, or dinner? How much is it for a night, one night? I'd like a wake-up call, please, a morning call, please. Sure, what time? What are your room rates? Same thing. What is the checkout time? Can I leave my valuables here? If you have something very expensive, for example, you want the hotel to hold it for you, keep it for you. Can I leave my ring here, please? Sure. I'm sorry, no. Can you give me more towels, please? Do you have a laundry service here? How can I make a collect call? A collect call. What does that mean, collect call? Everybody, collect call. Collect call. What does that mean? Collect call. In English, please. I don't know the Korean name. What does that mean, collect call? If you make a collect call, who pays? The receiver. The receiver. So if I call you, bring, you will hear, hello, would you like to receive a collect call from Reggie? No, thank you. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, so collect call, that means the other person will pay, right? Collect call. Uh, can I make a collect call here? Yes or no? Uh, shopping, can you please read one by one? Uh, YK, first sentence, shopping. Oh, is that right? Yes, shopping. First sentence. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Okay. Next, please, uh, Kate. How much is it? Right. How much is it? What is the price? Um, Hyunju, please. How much is that in dollars for international shopping? How much is that in dollars? Okay. Next, please, um, Sangwon. I'm looking for some cosmetics. I'm looking for some cosmetics. Another name? Cosmetics. Makeup, makeup. I'm looking for some cosmetics. I'm looking for some makeup. Okay. Uh, next, please, uh, Stephen. Do you have perfume? Perfume. Perfume is for men or women? Which one? Women. 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 So, what is for men? Perfume is for women. What is for men? Yes? Cologne, very good, cologne. Same idea, but female, male. Okay. I'm looking for perfume. Okay. Can I see that one, please? So you're shopping, can I see that one, please? Sure, here you are, thank you, you're welcome. Can I see another one? Can I see another one, please? Do you accept, do you take credit cards? Uh, could you give me a discount? Can you give me a discount? Can you give me a better price? Okay. No, I'm sorry. Better price discount? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, how about the uh, Grace? Uh, can you? Can you bring the price down? Can you bring the price down? Discount, same thing. Can you bring the price down? Uh, next, please, Sunny one. Do you have a cheaper one? Do you have a cheaper one? Cheaper one. This one is a little expensive. Do you have a cheaper one? Okay. Here you are. Okay. Calvin, please. Color, so you can make an answer. Do you have any in blue? Do you have any in black? Okay, so um, can I help you? Yes, I'd like a jacket, please. Here you are. Hmm, this is black. Do you have any in white, for example? Uh, next, please, Inna. Do you have any that are smaller, larger? Is okay. Next, please, Ginny. Can I see that dress in the window? Can I see that jacket in the window? So when you go shopping, Many stores have a big window. There is display. There is a mannequin, right, wearing a jacket, maybe wearing a dress. Can I see the jacket in the window, please? Okay, sure. Here you are. Uh, next, please. Where is, the children's Where is the children's department? Where is the men's department? Where is the women's department? Right. 
Do you have any that are cheaper? Can I try this on? Okay, so can I wear this? It's important to ask. Can I try this on? Some things you can. Many things you can for clothing. Some things you can't. What can you not try on? What kind of clothes? Underwear. Underwear, right? <laughs> so you're shopping. Can I help you? Yes. Men's underwear, please. Here you are. Can I try this on? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> so underwear, what else? Socks, usually you can't try on socks. Shoes? Sure, no problem. Can I try this on? Yes, sure, of course. Okay. What else? Socks, underwear. Swimsuit also sometimes. Swimsuit. Can I try this on? They can ask you, they can, ask you can you wear it over your clothes? Maybe in some cases, but uh, underwear and socks usually no. Okay. Uh, on a tour, can I take pictures? Can I take pictures? Or next person, please, Irene. Could you take a picture for us? Can you take a picture of us? Yes, sure, no problem. Okay, thank you, you're welcome. Uh, next, please. Could you explain a history? So you're taking a tour, another country. Can you explain a history? What is this place? Oh, well, da da da, or I'm sorry, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Uh, next, please. James Paul. Can you suggest any interesting places to see? So imagine someone says to you, a foreigner, a visitor from another country comes to Korea. Excuse me, can you suggest any interesting places to see? Yes, go to Haeundae in Busan or other places. Uh, next, please. I the best way to see that area. Thank you, Tom. What is the best way to see that area? Okay. Oh, the best way is by car, by tour bus, by boat, for example. And uh, Martina? How can I tour this town? There is a town. Okay, how can I tour this town? How can I tour that town, that city? How is it possible? Oh, you can take a boat, you can take a taxi, you can take a tour bus. Okay. Uh, Sunny, please. What kind, of what kind of building is this? Okay, so if you want to practice maybe just with the campus information, what kind of building is this? Oh, this is the, what is this building? This building, <laughs> what is this building? What kind of building is this? It's a business building? It is? Oh, I didn't know, thank you. <laughs> what kind of business? Excuse me, what kind of building is this? Oh, this is the building, uh, business building. Oh, okay, thank you, you're welcome. Police, excuse me, I'm lost, can you help me? Uh, please call the Korean embassy. Sure, what is your problem? I have lost my passport. My wallet was stolen. I'd like to report a theft. That means someone stole something from me. I was robbed. Okay. Places, um, Jacqueline, please, at the bottom. What is a great place to see? Okay, what is a great place to see? Uh, Jimmy, please. Uh, do you know when this or that place was built? Do you know when this place was built? Do you know when that place was built? What is the name of this place? What is a famous place in this city? What is this area known for? What is this uh, city famous for? So I think I mentioned uh, Chenju Pibimbap, right? So if you're in Chenju, what is this city famous for? Oh, Pibimbap. Suwon, what is Suwon famous for? Suwon Castle. Actually, Suwon Castle, I don't think that's accurate. Castle or Suwon Fortress. Suwon Fortress. Song, right? What else? Suwon? Kalbi, right? Suwon Ribs. Okay, so what is this city famous for? Oh, it's famous for, hmm. Back page, airport, airplane. Okay, let's see, I think everything is okay there. Bank money exchange. Uh, bank money exchange, how can I use this ATM? ATM, what does ATM stand for? Automatic teller machine, yes. Automatic teller machine, or just cash machine is okay. How can I use this cash machine? I'm sorry, I don't know. Or first, put your card in. Next, push your secret number. Next, press the amount. Finally, wait, take out your money. Okay. Other, uh, how can I get to, mm, where is the restroom, where is the bathroom? Or internationally, where is the toilet? Right. Okay. So toilet is actually like pyongi, right? But internationally, you can see toilet, toilet. So men's room, ladies' room is okay. okay. 
What else? Uh, is a credit card okay? Can I use a credit card? Traveler's checks, right? It's like money, but you have to sign if you want to use it. Uh, let's see. Do you have a subway map? Where should I transfer? Transfer. You can transfer here. You can transfer at the next station. It's okay. Back page. Uh, how late are you open for business, shopping, restaurant? How late are you open? That means what time do you close? Same thing. How late do you open? Oh, we open until 10 o'clock. The opposite, what time do you open? Oh, we open at 8 o'clock, we open at 9 o'clock, we open at 10 o'clock. Thank you, you're welcome. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Means what? Can I sit here? Is this seat taken? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, where is the tourist information office? Uh, ah, okay, for money. Uh, do you have change for a hundred? What does that mean? Everybody, do you have change for a hundred? Yeah. Means what? Hundred what? Hundred dollars. So I have a hundred dollar bill, paper money. Do you have change? Can you change this to smaller money? So I have a manon, for example, 10,000 won. Do you have change for a 10,000 won bill? Do you have change for a manon? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or one, five thousand one and five, five, uh, one thousand one bills. Okay. So can you change this for me? Another expression: Can you break a hundred? Same thing. Can you break a hundred? Everybody, can you break a hundred? Can you give me change? Same thing. I have a manon. Or no, actually, the biggest money now is what? It's the omanon, right? I have no yellow pen, but it's yellow. The money. So can you break? 50,001. Can you change 50,001? Okay, same thing. Yes, sure. Or no, I'm sorry. Okay. Can I call Korea, collect from this phone? Yes, sure. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Drugstore, can you give me something for my upset stomach? My stomach hurts. Okay. Can you give me something? Sure, here you are. I'd like some cold medicine, please. Kamgiak, right? Here you are. How much is it? 1,001. Okay, here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. How often do I take this medicine? Answer? Three times a day. After, I guess, after meals, after you eat. Three times a day or once a day, twice a day is okay. Uh, let's see. How often do I take it? And the last one. Can I get something to eat? Can I get something to drink? Sure, yes. What would you like? What do you want? Okay. All right. So, please, first... Practice with your partner, and then I'd like you to please stand up and then practice with everyone else. Okay, so with your partner, let's try. How about, um, okay, one, two again, one, two again, one, two, one, two. Um, gentlemen, one, two. <coughs> Ladies, one, two. One, two, please. Here you are. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, please begin. You can try um, randomly if you'd like also. Try randomly. Okay. Please begin. Question answer, please make a small dialogue. Yes. A, B, A, B. <laughs> How can I eat this? Use a fork, okay, yes. <laughs> okay, good. Use a fork or you can use your hands. Please use your hands, it's okay. Yes. Or use a fork, please. <laughs> what is the question? What is the specialty in this place? So that means you work at the restaurant. Excuse me, what is the specialty? What is the special food in this, the famous food in this restaurant? I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to another restaurant. Okay, that's fine, sure. 
Okay. Okay, that's a good technique, yes. I'm just looking. Okay, answer. So I'm just looking. Sure, okay, no problem. Yes, randomly, please. What is the question or sentence? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> can, can I take a picture? Yeah. Okay, can, can I take a, can I take a picture? Your answer. Yeah, I said I'm sorry. It's not possible. I'm sorry it's not possible. It's a secret place. <laughs> okay. Why it's important. Ah, okay. So the, it's getting a little more complicated. <laughs> uh, it's a top secret. Okay, or yes, it's top secret. That's personal. I'm sorry, that's personal. Oh, that's personal. Well, in this case, it's not personal for you, so. That's top secret. I'm sorry, that's top secret. Sure. <laughs> yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Hand carry, yes. And also a noun. Uh, do you have any hand carry? <laughs> ah, can I uh, can I hand carry? So the verb, yes, will be the will be the phrasal verb. Can I hand carry or can I carry on? Can I hand carry this bag? Can I carry on this bag? No, I'm sorry, it's too big. Yes, sure. As a noun also. Yes. Do you have any hand carry? Do you have any hand carry luggage? <laughs> Do you have any hand carries? Do you have any hand carry? Do you have any hand carry luggage? You have, I've heard this actually. Do you have any hand carry? Yes, I have one bag. Okay. So there's check-in baggage and there's hand carry. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the wind. <laughs> Hello, can I help you? <laughs> no, just looking. Uh, what number are we talking about? That's okay. Oh, you can say, I'm sorry, I don't know. Sentence number two. Number one, two, three. Here you are. Here you are. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Two hundred one traveling to Seoul. 201? How? How is that possible? I think that's impossible. Okay, hey, excuse me, are you ready? Yes! Okay, then what I'll do, 
is I'll give you some time and then I'll say, okay, next. That means find another person. So for maybe one minute, for example, I'll say go. And just try to ask as many questions as possible. Try to have a dialogue, different situations. It could be random, remember. And then next, find another person. Okay. So please stand. Oh, that's right, yes. You'll be on camera, yes. So if you want your face on camera, turn around and look. <laughs> okay, please stand up. I'll give you the first time maybe one minute. Okay. Ready? Careful. Okay, and go. Please begin. Excuse me, what kind of dish is this? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry, okay. I'm a ah, thanks anyway. Excuse me, what time is it, please? It is nine o'clock. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Continue, please. You have one minute. 30 seconds, actually. Excuse me, what is your special of the day? It's lobster. It's lobster. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, can I have my room key, please? Room number 567. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's not possible. How much is it for nine? Excuse me? How much is it for nine? Oh, for the medium sized room, it's $150 per night. You're welcome. Oh, excuse me, can I smoke here? Okay, that's okay. May I open the window? Sure, of course. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, excuse me. Please switch. Another person, please. Another person. Find another person. Another person, please. And go. Oh, yes, please. Oh, let's join together. <laughs> Actually, I have many. Yes. As you know, it's recorded many times. Uh huh. So I. Actually, I can see many times. Oh, really? Yes, and I, actually, I thought the camera was turned turn off, uh -huh. and I watched the camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking right at the camera because yeah. you thought it was off. <laughs> Are you making strange faces? <laughs> okay, well. Yes, the video is maybe, online. Maybe five times. I... Really? Yeah. Okay. So you're famous now. I don't know. You're famous at Cuffs. You're a Cuffs celebrity. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Uh, can you give me some medicine for an upset stomach? Can you give me some medicine for my stomach? Yeah, sure. Could you take this three times today? Take what? Take what? Here. 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 Here you are. Here you are. Oh, thank you. How often should I take this? Okay, thank you. How much is it? Oh, okay. Here you are. Thank you. Okay. How about one more? Um, let's see. Oh, excuse me. Can you break 10,000 won? Here you are. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Please continue.
sure. Yes, here you are. Okay, stop, please. Find another partner, please. It's actually two minutes I'm giving you, two minutes. Try to ask many questions, different kinds of questions, please. Another partner, please. Another partner. Hello. Excuse me. Can you tell me what time it is? Oh, no watch? That's okay. Thanks anyway. One more. Uh, excuse me. Where is the men's room? I'm sorry, Adam. That's okay. Excuse me. What do you recommend I see in this city? What do you, excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, what can you recommend? Oh, what do you think I should see? So if I'm a tourist, what do you think would be interesting for me to see? The campus. Oh, it's very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, please ask me. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, no. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, or, oh yes, sure. Here you are. You're welcome. Please ask me another one. Oh, Stephen, please, come over here. <laughs> because of the camera, that's why. Ah. Gentlemen, please, step out. Yes. How can I pronounce this? Asif? Oh, uh, good. Isle. 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 There's no S pronunciation. Like island, Isle. no S. Isle. Isle. I will Isle. also. Isle. Isle. Same pronunciation. Isle seat. Uh, uh, Isle seat. Confused. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. The spelling is a little strange, but it's Isle. Yes. Isle. 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 Isle seat. Yes. Excuse me. Um, ladies. Okay. New partner, please. One, two. One, two. Here. Please. Special menu. Ah, good. Uh, what does it come with? Mmm, <laughs> good. Very good. What does it come with? It comes with uh, bread. It comes with bread and soup. Soup. And potato. Oh, French fries. Uh, French fries. Yes. Wow, great. Please give me one. <laughs> what a wonderful restaurant. Okay, please stop, switch, find another person, ask many questions, please, many questions. Find a new face, please, new face. What time do you open? What time do you open? Nine a.m. Uh, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry. I don't know. I've come to visit the first time. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Thanks anyway. <laughs> It's your turn. Good. Okay. The most popular place in Seoul. She's a tourist. Oh, shopping mall. Good. Excuse me, I'm lost. Can you help me? Uh, where, where are you trying to go? Oh, I'm trying to go to my hotel. Uh, which hotel is this? It's a Seoul Plaza Hotel. Okay, you can go straight mm -hmm. and hang a left. Uh, left. <laughs> oh. Then you will see the big sign. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. In this case, I'm sorry. I don't know, right? Okay. Oh, excuse me. I, I'm lost. Can I borrow your cell phone? No, I don't have. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't have cell phone. Oh, okay. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm lost. Can I borrow your credit card? No, no, no I'm sorry. Oh, I'm okay. Okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> nearest department store. Uh, nearest department store. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. 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 I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm a stranger here. I'm a stranger here too. Please ask, ask already. Oh, I'm not here. So I'm sorry. Thanks anyway. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, excuse me, please switch. Find another partner, please. Another partner, please. Please switch. Please find a new face, a new partner, a new face, please. Steven is camera shy. He's hiding in the corner. <laughs> you too. Okay, so I'll ask you questions from this side. Please look at me. Please look over here. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you sell cologne? Do you sell cologne? Cologne, it's men's perfume. Do you sell men's cologne? I'm sorry, I don't have. Oh, okay. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, can I try this on? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, nice. How much is it? Thirty-five dollars. I'll take it. Here you are. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> ah, okay. That's okay. We're just practicing. Um, let's see. Excuse me, I'm lost. Can you tell me where the embassy is? The embassy, Tessaguan, yes. Okay, thanks anyway. Thanks anyway. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Please tell me. My embassy is located near Bahamas. Aha, okay. How can I get there, please? You just take on survey line number five. Okay. And all 
Uh, oh, get off. Get off. Uh, Gwangamun Station. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And can I borrow some money? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, please stop, change one more time. Another person, please. Okay, this is the last time, last time. Please find another partner. The last time. Exchange rate. So how much one is one dollar? I think today it's one thousand one hundred thirty-five one. I think one one three five. I think today. Oh, it's actually coming down. Yes, the one is getting stronger. Or, I'm sorry, I don't know. So, how much one equals one dollar? I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you say, I'm going to another bank. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> what kind of bank is this? <laughs> and then you answer, I don't work here. <laughs> I'm a customer like you. <laughs> don't ask me, ask that person. <laughs> I want to order beef and bop. Okay. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. No, not yet. I answered about a bulgogi. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know the famous restaurants. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh. Oh, okay. I refused. You refused. Okay. I see. Okay. So, what is your answer? I and I want to try another one. Oh, okay. And what is your answer? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Only pulgogi. So, what is your answer? Oh, can I order pibim papier? Your answer? <laughs> sorry, no, I'm sorry, no. This restaurant is only for pulgogi. Only for pulgogi, okay. I'm sorry, this restaurant is only for pulgogi. So what do you say? Oh, oh, will you order? Oh, okay. that's okay. Okay, good business, all right. You have a new customer. Okay, so please. Please have a seat. Yes, okay, good. It's mm. okay, excuse me, I'm sorry, please have a seat, please, please have a seat. Ginny, please walk this way. <laughs> Stephen, please walk over here. <laughs> Show your face. Show your face. They know your face. Okay. Everyone knows your face. By the way, for shopping, in a shopping situation, if you want to buy, what can you say? Can I help you? Yes, I want to buy a pen. Here you are. How much is it? It's 
1001. What can you say? I'll take it. I'll take it. That means buy. I'll take it. Everybody, I'll take it. I'll take it. How much is it? It's $5. I'll take it. How much is it? It's $100. Oh, I thought it was 200. Okay, I'll take it. If you don't want to buy, what can you say? I'll think about it. Okay, good. I'll think about it. Okay, so this can also have the meaning of maybe I'll buy it, maybe not. But if you don't want to buy it, what can you say? <laughs> That's too much money. No, just thank you is okay. Excuse me, can, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to buy a marker. Okay, here you are. How much is it? It's 10,000 won. Thank you. That's it. Just thank you. Oh, it's too expensive. Not necessary. Just thank you. It means no thank you. How much is it? It's $1,000. Thank you. That's it. Versus I'll take it means I'll buy it. Right? I'll take it. Okay. Any questions about any information here in general? So we're talking about polite speech, right? So I don't want to buy it. Just thank you. Right? Please. You're welcome. Excuse me. Any questions about vocabulary or anything like that? Generally speaking, so again, very simple language, but these days it seems like young people are forgetting to use, right? Excuse me, hey, please. Uh, simple words, simple different gestures, but very important for polite speech. So one last thing, the attendance sheet. Please make sure you sign this, and also we have a schedule change. Do you know the schedule for next week? No class next Saturday. Is that good news or bad news? <laughs> oh, how nice. So it's because of <laughs> midterm week, right? Midterms, we have no class next Saturday. So I wish you all good luck. And if I see you again, great. If I don't see you again, have a good life. <laughs> so please sign the attendance sheet, and thank you for coming. Have a nice weekend. If you didn't sign, please sign. Thank you very much. Good luck on your exams. Good luck. Good job, everybody. Good job. Thank you. Very good.